Hello students, uh, welcome to this session on cubes and calendars. Uh, in this uh, particular video, uh, we'll discuss two important concepts, cubes followed by calendars. Uh, we will discuss concepts related to uh, these two topics uh, in detail. Uh, I'll suggest you to take out your pen and uh, notebook and note down each and every concept discussed during the video. Uh, in case you face any difficulty uh, in understanding something, I'll advise to uh, re-watch uh, the video and that should get clear. Uh, also, uh, make sure that you understand and uh, revise each and every concept discussed uh, in the video. And that should help you in solving all the questions related to cubes and calendars, which are asked in CMAT, NMAT, SNAP, even we, we had questions in CAT and Z also from uh, this topic. So let's start. Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on cubes. This particular topic totally focuses on visualization. So when you're solving questions, you have to visualize uh, very well what is cube okay and what are the basic features of cube which we are supposed to remember before we go into questions okay so let's see first of all okay so we have let's say a cube so for that matter we, we should know what is a cuboid as well okay in case of a cuboid the sides won't be same okay in case of cube sides will be same okay so one thing which we have to remember is see is uh, how many faces are there cubes will have six faces okay uh, then we have edges edges are four plus four plus four so i'll say four lengths four breadth and four heights so all together a cube will have 12 edges okay cuboid four lengths four breadths and four heights then uh, we have something called corner points a cube or cuboid will have four top corners and four bottom corners eight corner points okay. so we, we have to remember these uh, three things okay because while solving we, we have to visualize according to these three parameters okay. now let's see a question to understand what are the type of question we get okay and how are we supposed to visualize okay so we are given a cube okay and then we we have some question based on the same okay so i'm just writing the information So we are given a cube, uh, each side has 4 cm, is painted black on opposite faces, red and green, okay. So these are the, fa these three faces, okay, sorry, these two faces, this one, okay, top one, this is red, okay, the bottom will now is also red. Similarly, this is black and the, uh, the one which is behind this will also be black. Okay, and this one is green and this one is also will be green. Okay, and then this is cut into uh, small cubes of size 1 centimeter. So, this is 1, 1, okay. So, on each dimension we have 4. So, if you see the total number of cubes which we will have is 4 into 4 into 4, 64 cubes. Okay. So, 4 by 4 in length, 4 by 4 on, means 4 by 4 on high, uh, height and width. So, 4 by 4, 4 into 4 into 4, 64 smaller cubes will be there. Okay. Now, if we have asked, first question, okay, how many cubes are there with three faces painted? Okay. So, this is the question we have. So when we have solved this, so we have to solve this question. What we need to do is we have to 
remember this you have to look for corner points because if you see corner points this is a corner point all these three are painted similarly this corner point this one these two are and the one which is behind also also painted this corner point three are painted this one as well and this one as well similarly bottom four also are painted so the number of cubes which are uh, which with three faces painted is equal to eight okay so i can write three here three 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 and so on now the second question which is which can be asked is that how many cubes are there with two faces painted okay again number of cubes we are supposed to find so the smaller cubes okay now for this one we need to look for edges now in case of a cube the edges all the edges are of size dimension 4 okay so let's say uh, we are here okay so let's say we go to length this is a length 2 2 these two these two and the okay so length is 4 but 4 minus 2 we these are the number of cubes we will get for each length we we have 4 okay if this would have been 5 we would have got 5 minus 2 3 cubes okay similarly width will have 2 cubes on each width for height also 2 cubes on each height i'm writing these separately because i have also want you guys to understand in case you are given a cuboid these dimension will be different okay for a cube we can direct, uh, we can directly write 12 into n minus 2 n is that uh, number of parts each uh, side has okay just so here each side has four parts okay so that is 4 here so we'll get 24 in case of cuboid these values will differ okay the third question is one face painted for one face painted we have to look for faces now look at okay so i'll just complete this particular face everyone so this particular face if you see this is i am just erasing a small part of it i am erasing this part everyone okay so if you see from front angle this cube will look something like a square and these are okay so these are three faces painted corner and then edges are two faces painted so for each face if you see the originally there were 4 by 4 cubes okay but now since all the means uh, the height is okay uh, length is reduced by 2 the width is also reduced by 2 so instead of this we'll get 2 by 2 so each face will have four number of faces will have six faces okay so we'll get 2 into 2 into six faces 24 such cubes okay now in case of a cuboid these dimension would have been di different let's say we have let's say uh, we let's assume if we had a cuboid of dimension 6 by 5 by 4 then 6 by 5 this is one of the faces 5 by 4 is one of the faces and 6 by 4 one of the faces this will turn into 3 4 into 3 3 into 2 and 4 into 2 and the face we have to multiply with 2 because we'll have opposite faces equal okay so this is what one face painted okay now coming to the last one okay which is zero faces painted okay 
so I'll draw that figure again again so let's look at this cube okay so assume this is a orange and we are peeling off this skin so top layer is gone similarly bottom layer is gone so the height is new height is 2 instead of 4 similarly we are removing these two sides okay so we will have length is equal to 2 similarly we are removing these two sides so width is now also so instead of original cubes of cube of dimension 4 by 4 by 4 when we remove all these sides okay we are left with 2 by 2 by 2 these these cubes won't have any side painted so number of cubes with zero side painted is zero faces painted is 8 now in case of a cuboid let's say we if we had dimension of 5 by 4 by 3 that would have changed into 3 by 2 by 1. So for 3 faces painted look for corner points, for 2 faces painted look for edges, for 1 faces painted look for face and for 0 face painted you have to remove the top line tommies, you have to reduce the length by 2, breadth by 2 and height by 2. For cubes we can generalize okay I will just write the generalized formula so that you can for case of cubes you can directly apply it for three faces painted is always eight two faces painted it is always 12 into n minus 2 n is number of uh, pieces each uh, length is getting into okay for cubes okay for one face painted it is six we had four by four remember the uh, the original uh, square and then it, they turn into 2 by 2 so this will be 6 into n minus 2 square and for 0 face painted it will be 4 by 4 by 4 converted into 2 into 2 into 2 that is n minus 2 cube so you can remember these formulas as well in case of cube and directly apply the solution I hope you understood the concept well thank you very much hello everyone welcome to this video on calendars so what are we supposed to do okay when we are solving questions okay so let's see everyone okay so calendars when we are solving questions okay there are two types of questions we get one is when we are asked to solve question with relative reference and second is when we are asked to find absolute question now what I mean by that is okay relative references when you are given a day day of a particular date and you are asked 20 years later or 30 years later or three months later what will be the date and absolute uh, is when you are asked day of any particular date okay so I'll start with relative uh, first okay and then they will go to absolute okay so first of all to understand the topic okay uh, so the uh, we have to visualize and visualize that and understand two important concept one is called leap year okay and second one is called odd days okay so first of all start with the leap year so for uh, condition of a leap year is the year if it's divisible by 4 then it's a leap year second condition which a lot of people are not aware about this particular condition is if year is divisible by 100 then it should be divisible by 400 as well this is the second condition we have okay so for example if 1900 is there 1900 is divisible by 100 but is not divisible by 400 so this is not a leap year 
2000 is divisible by 100 but divisible, and also divisible by 400 so it's a leap year similarly 1996 is a leap year 2020 is a leap year so these are the examples we have now coming to uh, the odd days fund of odd days okay so leap year so I have so it's 366 days which when we count we get 52 weeks 2 days and 365 days non leap year will have 365 days so 52 weeks and 1 day and this is what we call these are called odd days okay so a leap year will have 2 odd days and a non leap year will have one odd day so by odd day i mean let's say if we are talking about what is the day after eight days so eight days is what one week plus one day so that one extra day is what we call odd day so it will be same as let's say a day uh, is means so one day later the day will be same as what is the day after eight days or 15 days or 22 days because three weeks, one week, two weeks, one week, uh, sorry, two weeks, one day, three weeks, one day, or one week, one day, or one day, they all will have same day. Because after seven day, seven days, the cycle will remain, will go to the same place. Okay. Now, uh, so let's uh, talk about the first type of question, which is I talk about relative. Okay. So let's say we are given a date okay let's say we are given a date is uh, uh, let's write second of may sorry second of april 2020 and we know that this is a thursday okay and we are asked what is the day on second of april 2020 this is the question we have, sorry 2015 so this is the question we have so normally what we, okay so we see there are 30 years left okay now out of these 30 years how many are leap years and how many are long leap years so from 20 to 50 if you see 24 28 32 36 40 44 and 48 so 7 leap years and 23 so out of 30 years 7 leap year and 23 non leap years 7 leap years will have 7 into 2 and 23 into 1 these are the odd days we are talking about so 14 plus 23 37 which is same as 2 odd days so we are moving 2 days in advance forward so it will be Saturday these are the leap years we have counted okay uh, this can be cumbersome so what we can do is i can just write 30 by 4 is 7 2 by 4 now first two years we are encountering first two february's we are encountering are uh, after 20 we'll have 21 and 22 these two are non leap years so it will remain 8 if out of these two years okay one would have uh, means if any year would have been a leap year then it would have become 8 okay so in this case we have seven leap years only Another example, okay. Let's say we again same date. I'll take seven April, second April, two thousand twenty, Thursday, and we are asked, let's say second April, nineteen ninety. Now here, all the thirty years back we are going, but two thousand twenty. 16, 12, 8, 4, 2000, 96, 90, uh, 96, 92. So we'll have 8 leap years. Okay. This kind of calculation, if you do, it's will get 30 by 4, 7, 2 by 4. Uh, 2 years. Okay. We are going back. Okay. So first 2 Februarys we'll encounter 20 and 19. Out of these 2, 1 is leap year. So instead of 7, we'll have 7 plus 1, 8 leap years and 22 non leap years. So if we count odd days, we'll get 38 odd days, 
which is plus 3. Now, since we are going backwards, so we have to subtract minus 3. So, it will be Monday. I hope this is clear. Now, going to the second type, which is absolute uh, case, a case of uh, finding absolute date. Okay. So, what we need to do is, okay, we have to remember certain things. Okay. So, if it's so, starting with the first day of first 100 years, so we will have 76 non leap year and 24 leap year. First 100 years, okay. Starting of the calendar was 0001. If we calculate this, we will get into 2 into 1, we will have 6 plus 6, 5 odd days. Similarly, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, 0, 1 and 300, these will also have 5 odd days. Same calculation because 100 is non leap year, 200 is non leap year, 300 is non leap year. Then this one is a leap year, 400. Okay, so instead of 5, we will have 6. So from here, if you see. 400 if you add we will get 21 days which is equal to 0 leap, 0 odd days that means 400 years the calendar resets itself okay so this is something which we are supposed to remember now let's say we have to find what was date of 15 what was day of 15th august 1947 so for this what i can write is okay uh, I can divide it into two parts. Okay, one is 1946 years completed, and this year was running. Okay, so 1946 year completed can be written as so. If I find, subtract 400 years, how many year times we can we subtract four times? So 1600. If you subtract, there won't be any difference. Okay, so 1600 zero difference. So I can write it as 346. So this is this can be ignored. 1600 years. 346 can be divided into 346. These 300 years, years will give us 5 plus 5 plus 5, 15 odd days. So, we will have plus 1. I am circling it. We will use it later. Out of these 46, okay. So, 1901 to 46. 1904, 1908 and so on. So, we will have 11 leap year. 35 non leap year this into 2 this into 1 this is divisible by 7 so we just we can just ignore it okay so we'll get plus 1 from here now coming to the running year okay we have jan plus 3 1946 47 is a uh, non leap year so 0 march 3 april 2 May 3, June 2, July 3, August we are on 15 days, so I write 15. If you add all numbers 3 plus 3 plus 2 which is 8, 8 can be written as 1, 3 plus 2 plus 3, 8 again can be written as 1 and 15 is also 1, so we will get plus 3. So if you add all numbers we will get odd days as plus 5. Now, one thing which we have to remember, which is equally important is first day of the calendar was Monday. So, we started with Monday. So, day 1 was Monday, then day 2 was Tuesday, then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday was day 7, 0, day 1 again Monday. So, if we are getting 1 as odd numbers okay that means uh, odd days that means day is monday if we are getting two as odd days then it is tuesday in this case we are getting five as odd days that means the day has to be friday since this is on absolute scale okay we are starting counting from one so that is all we'll get friday as friday no sorry five as friday so i hope you understood the concept uh, just uh, list down these things okay when we are solving uh, 
questions which are on relative scale okay we have to anticipate that uh, whether we'll have extra odd year or not okay when we are solving questions on absolute scale okay we have to understand we have to uh, visualize that okay how many years when we subtract okay and what are the actual calculation we are supposed to do so 400 400 years we can absolute means we can just get rid of and 346 or whatever number which we have okay what how many years we have that we need to calculate okay and this is something which you need to remember that how many odd days we have in each of the months uh, i hope the concept is clear thank you very much